This is an example from the Go Emotions dataset, which is comments from Reddit that have been rated as containing some of 28 possible different emotions. Before I start, I want to note this data comes from Reddit, so you might see some words that aren't quite PG. So we have for each row here, we have the text, that's the comment, the ID of that comment, the author, the subreddit it comes from, some other linking information, the ID of the human writer, and then 28 different emotions like admiration, amusement, anger, caring, etc. And for each of those, we have a one if that emotion was present and a zero otherwise. And neutral is a very popular emotion. And this is a multi-label uh, classification problem. You'll see we have 105,612 rows total. This is a sample of 50% of the training data. So what are some ways we can explore this data? I'd like to see what are some expressions of gratitude in this data. So I can type row gratitude equals one and then hit apply on my filter. And I'll see that now we have 5,800 rows and I can look at some text that uh, contains gratitude. And now let's say I want to modify this. I want to see a combination of gratitude and let's say surprise. And here I'll add surprise equals one and we'll see that this went down to 64 rows and here we have some grateful and surprising comments like, OMG, that's awesome, thank you so much. And you'll see that I can do this interactively. I don't need to rerun a script. I don't need to log to any files. And this state will be saved in my browser. Another question I might want to answer right away is what is the distribution of subreddits in my data? Which ones are more or less represented? So I can group by the subreddit field and I can see some examples of comments that come from each subreddit. And here I can insert a column and count up the comments from each subreddit. And then I can see which ones are the least frequent. Looks like Far Cry only has 49 comments. And then which ones are the most frequent. Looks like Cringe, uh, Love After Lockup, and Social Anxiety all have around 450 comments. I can see examples, I can see some of the authors here. Now, what are some ways we can explore this data? One thing I might want to look at is the representation of a particular emotion. So let's say caring. Let's say I want to sum up all the comments ranked as uh, caring in these subreddits. And let's say I want to divide by the total number of comments. So we normalize for the frequency. And then I can get that custom metric without uh, rewriting any code, rerunning any scripts. And I can sort by that to see that as a fraction of the comments, we have the most caring as rated by humans in this particular sample. We have suicide watch, relationship advice, BPD loved ones, divorce. And of course, I would dig into this data more. I would look at the actual text. And this is only a starting point for my analysis. Another thing I could do is make this expression more complex. And again, I don't need to rerun any code. Let's say I want to look at the ratio of something like excitement, and I'll show you a more complex one here. I'll say excitement.sum, and we'll add a one for smoothing, and then we'll divide by a different emotion. Let's say gratitude and also smooth here in the denominator in case we get zeros. And we don't need to change this to anything in particular. It'll recompute. And now we'll see where we have the most excitement relative to gratitude. And where do we have the most gratitude relative to excitement? Legal advice. And uh, this is a type of exploratory analysis you might run. And then you can always reset and run more analyses. I want to show how easy it is to get that data into Weights and Biases. Here I install datasets from Hugging Face. I install Weights and Biases into my Colab. I import the load dataset function and Weights and Biases. I then load the Go Emotions dataset, the raw form. I take the train subset. 
of that and convert it to a pandas data frame. I subsample that data frame to get 50% of the data. I initialize a run to my weights and biases project called emotions and I name that run sample 50%. And then to create the table, I simply pass data frame equals with my sample, a wandb.table wrapper, and then I log that table under the key sample 50% train. And that's it. Here you can see my really quick notes in a report on the Go Emotions Reddit dataset. I take notes on how many items are in each split. I take notes on some of the challenges and next steps. Here's sample code to load the data in with pandas, a few observations and queries to try. And here I've embedded a 5% sample of the data, 10,000 rows. I have a 20% sample, and here I've already uh, added columns to show the ratio of approval to disapproval in some of these subreddits. And then I have additional resources. And if you'd like to get started and play with the data yourself, there's a link to a collab in the description of this video. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy.